today I'm reviewing the Polish Choice Defense Nightly Reconditioning Moisturizer. And uh, if you want to help me keep the channel independent, please check out my products at the Amazon link below. So, Polish Choice recently released her kind of pink line. It's kind of all this salmon pink color uh, defense line, which contains uh, kind of an exfoliant anti antioxidant serum, this moisturizer, a cleanser, and then uh, an SPF as well. So, I picked up the moisturizer and I thought I would uh, review it for you guys and let you guys know my thoughts on it based on my Sarah score scale. It's kind of an interesting product at Paula's Choice because I, after purchasing it, I really, it's hard to fit in with my current routine and it is, just seems a little bit out of place. But uh, anyway, so I'm gonna let you guys know my thoughts on it. So my first criteria is packaging and she's done a nice job packaging this. Uh, most of her moisturizers come packaged uh, in a, container similar to this uh, which makes it pretty easy for traveling uh, pretty compact and a squeeze tube as well so uh, it does a nice job protecting the ingredients from any exposure to light and air which can degrade the good beneficial ingredients so uh, packaging is pretty decent my second criteria is alcohol and this does not contain any alcohol so no issues with that my third criteria is fragrance, and like all of the Paula's Choice products, this does not contain any fragrance, uh, and it really doesn't have much of a scent to it at all, good or bad, so that's usually a good thing for most people. My fourth criteria is the manufacturing location, and this is made in the U.S., so I don't have any issues with that. Now, my fifth criteria is the ease of use, and it's easy to use. I mean, it's just a moisturizer. Uh, and they kind of have this pegged as a nightly moisturizer, so that's kind of, I, I had a little bit of issues just fitting in with my current routine. I didn't want to take anything out, uh, but the nice thing is I could add this after my serums, and it is a very, very light moisturizer, so I didn't have any issues uh, with it pilling or compromising any of the other products, so that was nice that I could just add it into my current routine without taking anything off. I have a feeling during the winter time when my skin gets even more dry, I'm probably gonna benefit from this more than uh, right now when it's summer and my skin isn't super dry. So I have a feeling I'll notice some more positive effects from this during the winter time, uh, but it is super light. It absorbs almost instantly. It almost has a uh, light gel, gel cream texture to it. So it's not very thick or anything. Uh, however, if you do get acne, be a little bit careful because it does contain several ingredients that can uh, cause acne. It's got uh, ethyl hexyl polymate, tociferol, butylene glycol, and almond seed oil. So some of these can cause acne for certain people. That doesn't mean everyone's going to get it from this, but uh, those are some ingredients that are just more acneogenic than other ones. So I just thought I'd point that out, but uh, otherwise very easy to use. My sixth criteria is antioxidants, and it does contain a lot of good antioxidants in it. It has peptides in it, uh, wild cherry extract, uh, something I'm not going to be able to pronounce, which is Eclipta prostara extract, which is a Korean plant with <clears throat> a Korean plant extract with soothing properties. So it's got a lot of good antioxidants in there, as well as a lot of good hydrating ingredients as well. So. Uh, decent, decent amount of antioxidants, and if it's the defense uh, line of Paula's Choice, it's uh, got some good antioxidants in it. Number seven is animal testing, and the Paula's Choice brand is cruelty-free, which we absolutely love. Number eight is performance, and I really thought this performed pretty well. It offers moderate hydration. It's not going to do everything for your skin if you have very dry skin. Uh, this probably isn't going to be your one-all, end-all product, uh, but it does add some moderate hydration and uh, definitely use it during the night. I found that it didn't play very well with foundation. I tried using it in the morning and it, it just didn't play well with foundation. It made the foundation kind of, kind of melt off the skin almost and it didn't play very well with primers either. So definitely if you're planning on pur purchasing this, definitely use it during the nighttime. That's uh, where it's going to be most effective in your skincare routine. And then on to number nine, which is price. And so this is the full size, which is two ounces, and it sells for $29. So it's not ridiculously expensive. It is a little more expensive than a lot of other uh, Pro Polish Choice products. At least they started out a little bit more affordable. It's kind of creeping up there, but uh, if you have a good spot in your routine for it, it's not ridiculously expensive, I guess. So 
And there's definitely drugstore moisturizers that sell for that price too. So, and then on to number 10, which is the It Factor. And, you know, I didn't give it the It Factor. It's not a must have product. Uh, definitely has a good place in your skin care routine as an additional hydrator. But uh, I just, unless you have uh, normal skin, maybe this could be the only moisturizer you need. But I just, for me, I don't. I still need my normal moisturizer because it doesn't offer enough hydration on its own. Uh, and then it, in my opinion, uh, it didn't play very well with foundation in the morning routine. And, uh, they also, as this defense line, they're saying that it helps, uh, fight off environmental stressors and blue light. Uh, but blue light really is the same as sunlight in a way that most broad spectrum SPF will protect you from it. So there's nothing special you need to do for it. So I thought I'd mention that because... A lot of brands are now marketing things for blue light, and blue light is really kind of similar to sunlight in that a broad spectrum sunscreen is what you need to protect yourself from it. So, um, anyway, this got a 9 out of 10 on the Sarah score scale, which is pretty good. Uh, yeah, so if you're looking for a little boost of hydration, this might be a good option for you, uh, unless you have uh, very dry skin, in which case you're probably going to need this and your normal moisturizer. So, uh, anyway, I'm interested if you guys have had a chance to check out anything from the Paula's Choice Defense line. And if you have, what did you check out and how did you like it? So uh, leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I come with at least one new video every day. And check out nobsbeauty.net and the Amazon link below. Thank you so much, guys.